Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we will be talking about living things and the environment. So, technically, our vocabulary for this entire lesson, which is organism, habitat, biotic factor, abiotic factor, population, community, ecosystem, and limiting factors. Our academic vocabulary for the entire lesson, which are resources and density. Then we have our guiding questions for this lesson, which are how are populations affected by changes to the amount and availability of resources? Then we have how are population size and resource availability related? Moving to the first part of the lesson, which technically talks about organisms and habitats. So for example, a giraffe is an organism or living thing. Different types of organisms live in different types of surroundings or environments. An organism gets food, water, shelter, and other things from its environment that it needs to live, grow, and reproduce. These all are called resources. An environment that provides the things a specific organism needs to live, grow, and reproduce is called a habitat. In nature, Every organism you see in a particular habitat is there because that habitat meets the organism's needs. Some organisms have the ability to move from one habitat to another as conditions change or as different needs arise. But many organisms stay in the same habitat for their entire lives, the living and non-living things in a particular environment and the interactions among them define the habitat and its conditions. Also, we have two parts. We have the biotic factors and abiotic factors. So, the parts of a habitat that are or were once alive and that interact with an organism are called biotic factors. These biological components include the trees, and plants. Animals, cats, are biotic factors, as are also snakes. And for example, we have the other part, which is the abiotic factors. Organisms also interact with non living things in the environment, which are the abiotic factors, are the non living part of an organism's habitat. These physical components include water, oxygen, space rock, light, temperature, and even soil. The quality and condition of the abiotic factor can have a major effect on living things. Then we have ecosystem organization. So, most organisms do not live all alone in their habitat. Instead, organisms live together in populations and communities that interact with abiotic factors in their ecosystems. Interaction can also occur among the various populations. So, technically, what do we have? We have organism, population, and communities.